The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subject to their husbands as to the Lord. Since as Christ is head of the church and saves the whole body, so is a husband the head of his wife. And as the church is subject to Christ, so should wives be to their husbands in everything. Husbands should love their wives, just as Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her, to make her holy by washing her and cleansing water with a form of words, so that when he took the church to himself, she would be glorious, with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that, but holy and faultless. In the same way, husbands must love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man to love his wife is for him to love himself. A man never hates his own body, but he feeds it, looks after it. And that is the way Christ treats the church, because we are parts of his body. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and becomes attached to his wife, and the two become one flesh. This mystery has great significance, but I am applying it to Christ and the church. To sum up, you also, each one of you, must love his wife as he loves himself and let every wife respect her husband. And our response is from Psalm 128. How blessed are all who fear Yahweh, who walk in his ways. Your own labors will yield you a living, happy and prosperous will you be. Your wife a fruitful vine in the inner places of your house. Your children around your table like shoots of an olive tree. Such are the blessings that fall on those who fear Yahweh. May Yahweh bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus went on to say, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it with? It is like a mustard seed which a man took and threw into his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air sheltered in its branches. Again he said, What shall I compare the kingdom of God with? It is like the yeast the woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour till it was leavened all through. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.